Hi guys, uh, this is Chan Shekhar again. Now I am going to show you installer Git in your Windows operating system. So uh, for that, I am going to open in a gitsm.com to download the Git. So git-sm.com is the site. You will get or uh, you will find the Git in here only. So you uh, click on the download for Windows. So it will automatically your start, um, download will be started soon and just already uh, I think so here it is out of one so already I have downloaded version so uh, directly I am opening my downloads folder here so in that download folder get 1.9.4 so I am opening that file so if you open automatically it will uh, start the installation and it will ask for permission for administrator purpose so click next next it will ask you the default installation folder so you can if you want you can change it to another way but this is the default and it will be the better to you and the next you need to check the git bash and git GA. so to create our Use the git by using GIN and CLI like command line interface and the graphical user interface. So, what are the folder, what are the directory name or folder name you want to give to git? So, by default, it will come as git folder. So, I am not gonna change that. Then, automatically, remaining things are will be uh, next, next default settings. Just click on the finish button, then you need to use the git option. So, here the git will be available uh, like a git uh, bash and a git GA. what are the um, options we have checked while installing the git so now i am pasting it on the desktop so just double click on it it will open the git bash shell so it is similar to uh, linux shell okay so here i am going to use the ls command so just i was modified the font sizes uh, like that so here it is going to display all the files and directories that are uh, inside in the user home directory so here the user home directory who user is the chandu so chandu home directory so whatever the contents available in the chandu home directory that will be listed here itself so this is uh, you can use the or you can store the repository or you can use the git commands here itself directly but this is not a good practice so you need to place the repository somewhere else so for that i am going to use the git projects in the after git projects uh, i am going to store uh, this path uh, in this uh, location i am going to store my repositories for that i am going to the bash shell and and I am going to configure the path by clicking right click on the properties folder then properties option then is, this is the home directory path where the bash shell starts uh, by default so I am going to delete this complete path and I am going to paste whatever the copy content is there so uh, we have pasted the directory uh, find a git project so then, um, then click on ok so um, just verify once again if it is uh, perfect or not so and then open the git shell so it will open your uh, git bash with the uh, uh, whatever the path we have configured in starting option so here you get use uh, command list so there is no thing available in this directory so here i am going to create one folder or directory called uh, j project so here i am going to store my java projects under this directory so if you use ls command here j projects folder will be displayed so i am going to create a repository uh, for the j project so git init j projects so initialized empty git repository in the, in the this folder selected folder now here automatically you got the dot git dot git folder so in this directory you will have uh, some di other directories and files which are used to configure in that repository and if you want to see it in the l 
uh, command line client you can use the ls a so this is the repository so you need to get into the repository j project then use the ls a command so it will list the dot git now use the ls hyphen ls space dot if g now it will display the contents of dot git okay now just simply use ls command so if there is nothing available to display and if the dot git folder if you want to see really see then you need to make one um, thing in modify in this one use show head and do not show so if you use this option so the folder dot git folder will not be uh, displayed so this means that you need to change that option in the organizers now i am going to create one file uh, like uh, test.txt so i am giving the file name as test so it will be uh, looking here now use the first command git status so it will be it will give the status of the file so in the file is displaying in the red mark this is the untracked untracked means this file is not uh, so this file is not added to the staging area staging area so here if you want to make commit operation then you need to make some most steps sequential step. first of all you need to create the a uh, file or uh, in local directory here itself and then you need to add that file to the staging area or index area or cached area then that files will be going to be uh, added to the repository when you perform the commit operation so first of all here you need to perform the git add operation so git add operation performs the uh, this will adds the files to the staging area so here you getting the help from the git directly git add space file name so here i am using the git add dot so dot indicates the current in directory actually so whatever the files that are available to be uh, untracked that is going to be under staging area now so all of the files so now use the git status command again so it will now it will looking the color in green so that means the changes to be committed you are getting the message so now get to rm uh, ifan ifan catch your file to unstage so the file is uh, file was added to staging area already now it is in staging area if you use commit command then it is going to be committed to the repository if you want to remove the file from staging area you need to use git to rm command but uh, now we don't want to use that so uh, later uh, later videos i will tell you what we, what is the use of the, all those commands now we need to learn basic commands only here so now i am committing the file to the repository so git commit ipan m uh, so initial commit with one with test file so this is the first commit operation right with the test file so this file is added now use the git status command working directly clean now i am going to use uh, create another uh, file uh, like um, new new test now just watch ls command new test is here now use the git status to uh, check the status of the file okay now new test is untracked file so if you want to uh, add this uh, file to staging area you need to use the git add command so git add a uh, new test so it will be added to the staging area so the file was added right now if you want to commit this file to uh, repository it is going to be committed so already this file is uh, under staging area right so if i want to use or if i want to modify you can directly modify the file so here i am going to add some line so first line now i am going to close this it will ask for the save option so i have saved 
now use the git status command now just watch it new file new test.txt bit is in the unstaged variables and as well as modified line is also here only now if you want to commit this file directly you use directory commit a hyphen a this means add all the files next hyphen m so commit message so committing committing changes to the repo with uh, file new file okay so now i have given commit message so now use the git status working copy clean so if now i am going to add a second line i am saving once again now use the git status so this is comes again into the uh, like a uh, untracked folder right so whatever the changes we have made to that file that can be untracked no now you need to follow the same procedure right now git add then commit then add. but if you know the differences between the tracked file that are what are the already the, that file is a new test.txt already the file is committed to the repository now again we have modified just to something in that file so what are the differences between the are uh, mm, these two files means uh, the repository available uh, what the new test is available repository also right so what are the differences between the untracked and tracked file so here it will give the first line so this is tracked right this means this is uh, in uh, available in the repository file and this is once is added again extra so plus symbol so you can you will come to know the differences by using you git to diff command okay now if you want to add this file right now or you can if you want to commit this uh, uh, modified text to the repository then you need to use the git add new test then it will going to then it will be added to the staging area now use the git commit command to commit the so new test file modified so now you will get working copy is clean so our working copy clean so whatever the changes we have done and whenever whatever the files we have created whatever the files we have committed to the repository you want to know use the git log command to display that so in first of all uh, initial commit with the test file right and then committing changes to the repo with file new file and new test file modified so three commits was happened till now and uh, if you want to use so here you are getting the author name chandu and chandu.2035 is the mail id so if you want to use the name if you want to change or if you want to configure the username and user email id you need to use git config iphone iphone global global user dot name so in the double quotes you need to provide the name so now the git username was configured and next git config iphone iphone global user dot email so in for the email you need to mention the double quotes right so then i am going to use chandu dot double two double through at the rate of gmail dot com so if you want to see the configuration details use the git config iphone iphone list so it will list the usernames and so user dot name equal to shaker and user dot email equal to chandu dot double two double two email dot com so uh, in a similar way you can set the uh, colors and status and uh, default text editors like that okay so thank you for watching this video in the next video i am going to show how to set up the github account and in
how to access the remote of uh, repository from the local github and you can set up your similar and you can configure the how to configure the ssh and https urls uh, and how to access from those urls thank you for watching and a nice day